I'll tell you about the peculiarities of using the mouse wheel in the modeler mode. Let's select the points. Move them with the middle mouse button. The wheel can now be used to change the radius of the soft selection. Unlike Houdini, the radius changes even in the component selection mode after moving. You can use the subdivide tool to smooth the geometry by adding new polygons. In this tool, you can use the wheel to change the number of smoothing iterations. You can use the duplicate tool to copy the selected polygons. The wheel can be used to adjust the number of copies. To change the number of inserted loops, you can also use the mouse wheel. Activate the loop tool with the L hotkey. Insert the loop anywhere. Now with the wheel, we can set the desired value. Another way to insert a loop is to apply the connect tool to a selected edge. Select the edge, activate the tool with the V hotkey and scroll the mouse wheel. Use the Fill tool to fill the hole. The tool automatically creates polygons. But sometimes we need to change the fill mode. To do this, you can use the wheel so as not to go into the parameter editor. When using the kit bash libraries to insert objects, you can select the desired scale with the mouse wheel. The scale value is saved and the next inserted object will use this value. Let's check how it works. Select polygons. Click twice with the mouse on the desired element of the library. When launched, the tool will ask you to select a vertical edge to orient the object correctly. Select the edge. Now the object is automatically transformed based on selection. Scroll the mouse wheel to adjust the scale value. All the following objects will be inserted with the same scale until you change it again with the mouse wheel.